Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is kind of an update video, but I really haven't got a whole lot done on the airplane recently. I did get the wings attached, which is a, a pretty big deal. And I've been working on some other smaller little detail things, which I'll show you in just a minute. But I thought for this video, I'd kind of show you why I haven't got a whole lot done on the airplane lately. I'm so busy with so many other things. Um, and I'll just show you kind of some of the other things I've been working on. Now I have been working on my office a little bit too, and it, it's kind of starting to look like mission control from NASA in here because I have three different computers, but if you guys saw my last video, I have a little business called aircraftstickers.com where I make uh, all kinds of different vinyl graphic airplane stickers or placards or whatever, but this is a computer that I do it on. It's an older computer with Windows 7, but that's what the software runs, so I keep this computer going. And I just send the files over to this vinyl graphics cutter and I can cut out whatever I want to make. But since that computer is so old and slow, I bought this PC a couple years ago, just as an upgrade because it's a little bit faster. But then when I started making YouTube videos, this computer was too slow. So I bought this Apple, which is actually really nice. This is kind of the top of the line Apple that I bought. So it works great for editing videos, but in order to accommodate all these, I had to buy a new computer desk which meant kind of rearranging my office a little bit. So, you know, just one of those little things you do on my days off or I do on my days off that take up some time. Another hobby I have is creating these airplane illustrations on my computer. This is an F4 that I'm working on. And basically what I do is I use a Paint Shop Pro and I just use the mouse basically as an airbrush and I can create the shadows and highlights and different paint schemes and things like that. But they're really fun to do. This used to be, or it started out as a hobby, then I kind of turned it into a business. And it takes so much time to make these that I just, I do it for fun now and I don't, I don't do it for a business anymore. So this is an F4 that's almost done. I have an F18 here I've been working on for a while and I still have to finish up the landing gear. The landing gear, you know, and it looks like the cockpit I need to finish up too, but. The landing gear is what takes the most time, so uh, um, that's why this one's not done yet. Then I have an F-15. This is just one of the many different F-15s I have. If you guys want to see more of these, I have most of my drawings on uh, aerodraw.com. You can click on that or go to that website and see them. And then I have a Flickr account, which has, I think, all of my drawings on it, or pretty much most of them, if you just want to take a look and see. But... Uh, here's an F-16. There's two different F-16s here. One of them is the, uh, the one in the foreground is the, the prototype F-16. So you can notice some of the differences like the, the landing gear doors. Uh, I don't have the wing tanks on it. The nose cone's a little bit different. Then I've been making some night ones where I'll put a dark mask over it and then just work on getting the landing lights and the nav lights and stuff to look, look like it's real. When I was doing this for a business, here's a motorcycle that I did. <laughs> This thing was, it was fun to do, but it was just so much work. It took me probably about 30 hours to do. And after I did this one, that's when I stopped doing it as a business because it's just not worth my time to, to make these uh, for a business anyway. I did this Steerman also as a commission and that was, that was pretty fun. And I also have a bunch of characters, which I, I probably like doing more than the original or real airplanes, just because they're fun to do. Um, and then I put some backgrounds on them to make them look cool, but it's a super fun hobby. It takes up a ton of time on the computer, so I don't get a whole lot done anymore, but they're neat. So I thought I'd show you what these look like once they're printed out. I have a special printer that prints these out on 13 inch by 19 inch uh, photo paper. And this one here, when I made it, when I printed it, it had a little smudge on it right there. So I printed it out again to send to the customer. And this is one of the RV-12s I did. I did an F-16 here. A rotorway. I think this was also a commission too. Uh, here's an Airbus I did for a guy at work. Then I have an F-16. You can see this F-16 is the same as the other one. The only difference is I changed the paint scheme on it. So once you have these drawn and all the shading and the detail work and all that done, uh, it's pretty easy to go ahead and change the paint schemes. You can see here the landing gear. Uh, if I can focus. I like to make the landing gear as detailed as I can, but uh, then we have another uh, character flying at night. Here's a couple more characters doing a Reno race. Another F-16. Let's just show another F-15 here. 
and I did an RV, or no, this is a Rans S19. I actually did this one for Randy Schlitter, who's the, uh, the president and the, the owner and the founder of Rans Aircraft. All right, one last item I'll talk about real quick before we get into the airplane is the hangar remodeling that I've been doing. I ripped out the old kitchen area in here and put in new cabinets and a new countertop. I finally got the hole for the sink cut, but obviously I have to finish that. I bought the tile for the backsplash and I have to finish putting that up or start putting that up, I guess. You guys have seen this wall. This used to be just white drywall and I put up this brick and kind of finished this off real nice. And the bottom of this entire wall here used to just be concrete. If I have a picture, I'll put it up on the screen, but I wanted to make it look a little bit nicer, so I cut some more of this brick material, just ply, or not plywood, but paneling. Put in a baseboard, and it really gives the bottom of the, this wall a real nice finished look. This door used to be blue. I painted it gray to go with the, you know, everything else in here. I need to make some trim to finish the top of this brick wall. So I have this piece of wood just taped to the wall. But I'm thinking if I paint that gray, that might make a nice separation between the brick and the drywall. So obviously I have to finish this up yet. The very end of that corner is not done yet, but it does look a lot better. And once it's finished up, it'll look real nice. So as far as the airplane goes, the other day or a couple weeks ago, I guess now, I had help getting the wings attached to the fuselage. In order to make the struts, I just kind of got a, a rough measurement here so I can make a, a rough cut first on the strut just to get it the length to fit under the wing. And if I remember, that was about 87 inches, so there I just marked it on the strut. I took it over to my neighbors to cut. This saw actually didn't work because it wasn't deep enough. So uh, we got about halfway through, and then we took it off of here, and we used another saw that he has to cut it. It makes a real nice cut, perfectly straight, square um, but it just it makes a rough edge so once it once it is cut you do need to clean up the edge a little bit so with it rough cut I put it back on the airplane here and I'm just gonna measure to get the exact fit now which is you know I cut it roughly with about a quarter of an inch so I need to only need to cut off about another quarter of an inch or so to get it to fit so and once it was cut this is what I was talking about, cleaning it up. I just used a file and some sandpaper and got it nice and cleaned, as you can see here. All right, finally, here's where I'm at on the airplane. So I have finished up everything that I need to do on the vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizer. So those are removed and they are all ready for paint or they're ready for prep for paint. So one of the things I just did was I've made these um, rudder cable exits here out of aluminum tube and then there's a backing plate in here and I riveted it on and then I just put on this this filler this morning so once it's dry I'll sand it and blend it in it just makes a nice rudder cable exit much nicer than what the factory provides I don't have it on the, the passenger side there but on this side you can see um, I made these nylon inserts in here And what I did was I had a, a big bushing material that I took to a lathe and I just turned it down to fit inside a tube and then I left a little bit of a lip on it. So this one's pressed in and then uh, the one on this side, I just, have an, I just have to put it in yet. So anyway, I've been working on that. The back end is all done. You guys have seen the wings. Well, maybe you haven't, but if you, if you follow my builder's log, which I have on zenithowner.com, you can see that I have the wings on. So the wings are done. They're, I mean, as far as attaching to the fuselage is done. This wing here, I just took off the wing strut because I have a guy coming over later to help me remove the wings because I can finish up the fuel tanks now and the corners and kind of everything else. Well, that's it guys. There's not a whole lot done on the airplane to show you since last time. The wings are on. I didn't show you in the video because I had already removed them, but the flaperons were all installed and, and set up. Uh, so they're removed and they're basically ready for paint too. So that's it. Got to do the doors. I got to finish mounting the top windshield, put the cow on, and 
that's it. It's pretty much done, ready for paint. So I'm getting pretty excited. I'm, I'm really excited to, to get this thing painted and, and done and flying. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, all that other YouTube stuff. See you later.